On the morning of July 13th, 2nd Platoon Chosen Company and their Afghan partners conducted Stand 2 at 0400, and the 2nd Platoon leader was organizing a patrol to find a more advantageous site for OP topside. As Stand 2 continued, the trooper manning the improved target acquisition system, ITAS, on the tow observed five personnel moving through the hills 1,500 meters west of the cop. It was unlikely that local citizens would travel together like that, so Chosen Company began to coordinate a tow and mortar attack. Twelve minutes after the insurgents were initially spotted, fire mission preparations were interrupted by two bursts from an insurgent machine gun and a large number of rocket-propelled grenades. The initial volley of machine gun fire served as a signal for the remainder of the insurgent force. Intense and continuous volleys of machine gun and RPG fire from all sides of the cop continued for the next hour. The insurgent fire was accurate and came from positions that were within several yards of the perimeter. The hotel, mosque, and bazaar were all being used as firing positions. Immediately after the enemy opened fire, Chosen Company Commander notified Task Force Rock Command Post and requested indirect fire and air support. The constant rate of fire from positions in the village effectively isolated OP topside from the main perimeter. Reinforcing and maintaining contact with the observation posts became Chosen's top priority for the remainder of the fight. The opening volley was particularly devastating to the tow and the other crew served weapons at the cop. Three RPGs caught the tow vehicle in their crossfire, setting the vehicle on fire. This forced the crew to abandon the vehicle and move to the command post. 